Was I weird in person? Be honest. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I will say one of the first things that that you uttered from your mouth when we saw each other, I said, "Our Uber's here." You saw that it was a van, and then you're just like, mm, "Choices." <laughs> <I was> like... <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Three, two, one, boop. boop. Yay. Um, okay. So welcome to episode five of Twin that's Palms. It. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally the worst. I know. I know. Episode five. I will say though, like a big, a big reason of why there's kind of been a little, a, a big break is because we've low key were maybe a little uninspired maybe a little burnt out would you say yeah yeah for me for sure i feel like we've both been a little burnt out a little right. bit on maybe twin palms specifically right though i will say since the last episode 4.5 we actually have hung out in person and we were able yeah. to go to sea world san diego <laughs> which i for me was kind of a big like motivator to get back in here uh-huh yeah 100 percent all right, so where 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 are we going first, Dad? You're driving. Okay, so you'll notice that we kind of have switched things around. So this used to be called the Pacific Waters Aquarium, mm -hmm. um, and we just decided to call this whole area Pacific Point. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll see, like this used to have like seals attached to it, and it, the coloring was a little bit different. Um, but you know, we kind of decided like let's just make this whole area be um, Pacific Point because the major the major exhibit that was on that was you know that was basically pacific point was like a the, the seal exhibit um mm -hmm. and that has been moved and we kind of turned their exhibit into something else which you'll see soon yeah honestly it kind of goes with like the storyline of this park like i feel like you know when we initially made pacific point 100 percent, that's how it should have been but then as time moved on they one of the main things they wanted to add for like whatever year this would currently be in is they are going to upgrade a major exhibit which means that these guys have to move but then mm -hmm. something else really really cool gets to come in here i love that this is very much the foundation of it is very like 80s 90s but we're not afraid to add like very new modern things to kind of mm -hmm. go on top of it but yeah so shall we go in and see some of the changes in here yeah can't wait okay so we are in the Pacific Waters Aquarium. I, I kept the name of that. Yeah, pay some homage to what was here before. Okay, so we have added. We have, you know you can already see. I'm just gonna do a little a little pan of this area. Lovely. Big huge shout out to um, Nicholas Lionrider for letting us uh, test his new. Um, aquatic mod pack we could have this could exist without it but it wouldn't look as good as it looks right now so i do appreciate him for that right because we kind of did do it without it and it, it was just like you know once we yeah. saw what he was working on we're like yeah we need those there's like a whole team i think behind that um behind that mm -hmm. um, i believe so yeah yeah but i love it um love this kelp that is just like very slightly swaying in the water yeah <laughs> looks so good um, just the details for me, you know. But over here, you've kind of introduced like a little interactive moment. Yeah. So one thing that's cool because the, I mean, I've I've been to several aquariums, but obviously the one closest to me is the Georgia Aquarium, which you're gonna see soon. Yes. But yeah. So basically, what they have is like an interactive. Uh, basically, you can do the whole aquarium, like while listening to certain. You'll like key in, I guess, where you're at, which exhibit, and it tells you more about the exhibit. Mm -hmm. You obviously have like these uh, these stock cards above, which will tell you like fun facts, but there's stuff in the recordings that you don't get to read on the education sheets, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. So we we kind of set those up all throughout um, this whole aquarium just to kind of pay homage to that. Yeah. So I love how that came out, and like it just ties everything together. I feel like having those like everywhere looks really mm -hmm. cool. Um, all right, so let's go over here. So this, I love. Mm -hmm. You did this. Mm -hmm. 
It looks amazing. I know I've mentioned on Discord, but I'm actually a, a reefer in like my personal life too. So mm -hmm. I was really, really excited when this prop pack came out because yeah, you can make this stuff with pieces, but that are like in game, you know, like how we had done before, mm -hmm. but you can't get them small enough to where it would look this good. So, I mean, in here we have, uh, I mean, we got yellow tangs, we have uh, blue hippo tangs, there's um, coral snapper or coral grouper, I'm sorry, um, just all kinds of stuff. There's even little clownfish in there, but they're so tiny you can barely see them, but those, they're scaled correctly. This one um, made the, me sob. I know. <laughs> so I love the school of blue damsels that are underneath the arch. I, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. And there's also an eel in there too. Um, and then all the coral variations. I mean, you got Montipora in here, Acropora. Um, there's Euphilia that's in here as well. You got good old SPS sticks, a little bit of everything. So this in the hobby is what you would call a mixed reef. That's a clown trigger right there on the bottom left, which is one of my favorite fish. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a system large enough for one, but I will soon. One day. One, <laughs> one day. day. One day soon. They're such beautiful fish. And every time I go to like my local fish store, um, I will stare all day at a clown trigger and an Achilles tang. He just uh, sits himself crisscross applesauce on the floor. and A hundred percent. But yeah, this was exciting to me. I knew like right out the gate, like when you first come in, I wanted there to be some sort of a reef exhibit. Um, right. Just because the main, uh, the main thing that you're looking at in here um, is going to be that big holding tank, which we'll talk about why there is a leatherback sea turtle in there in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously it's so big and these pieces are true to size. Like they're, they're actually really small. So I wanted there to be a good size. This would be maybe like a 500, 600 gallon um, mixed reef tank right here at the front. And I knew I wanted that because while we do have some reef stuff in the larger display tank, I mm -hmm. wanted you to be able to see it up close and personal here. Love the fishies on the wall like i feel like these would be lighting up and they could like change colors yes and, yeah like i they, feel like that would be like a really cool feature mm -hmm. also i wanted them to face this way because it's like directional yeah go this way <laughs> yeah all right so we're going to talk about this stuff soon but let's go ahead and go over here to the left so okay so this is kind of like that big display tank that greets you right when you walk in um, and you'll notice that, like, there is a leatherback sea turtle in there, you know, kind of going crazy. Um, <laughs> do you, you can, why don't you kind of explain why he's in there? Typically, because of their size, you would not, I mean, these guys swim, like, a ton of miles a day. Um, as, as all sea turtles do, but they're the largest of the sea turtles. So, typically, you would not see them uh, being held captive in something like this, mm -hmm. but... One thing that I don't even know that we mentioned, and if we did, I apologize, but we've basically named this smaller area. I mean, I know it's Pacific Point, but it's also like a turtle rescue. So you'll see in a bit, um, there's some backstage tours that you get to go on, but essentially it would not be totally uncommon for them to have rescued like a leatherback sea turtle that they're rehabilitating to release back in the wild. So Honestly, it's it's kind of like a treat if you come here and there there is like a leatherback sea turtle because this might be one of the only times that you ever actually get to see one in an aquarium setting like this. SeaWorld San Diego back in like 1997 or 1998, they had a baby uh, humpback whale um, oh. and it was yeah. in the big orca tank like where we visited. Um, and I don't know where they kept the orcas at that time, but it was just it was huge i mean it was really big and it was just swimming around in there um and he was That's only so there cool. he was only there for like you know a few months and then they released yeah. him um so this i mean obviously this isn't as epic as like having a, a gray whale but or a humpback whale but um a very similar like concept though right so we just you know we, it, this is a very temporary thing but it's also it's also a great way to utilize this mod because it's really pretty um, yeah I, I believe this mod is by leaf I think all of the mods in here are by leaf. I think they are, yeah. <laughs> so we also have some, um, we got some fish in there and also some um, leopard shark, which yes. are a fan favorite of mine. It's like chef's kiss. These Honestly. these leopard sharks are perfect. That leatherback is perfect. The parrotfish mm -hmm. are perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything is great. So basically this is everything that is in this tank always. Um, you know, I, I, there's not any for the sharks, which I should probably make in the future, but 
um, this just goes to show that this is kind of what like is in here usually and then you know the leather back is in here for right now as well so in in that new aquatic mod prop pack they have just like some still static versions of all the fish mm -hmm. um and somehow with the lighting that's in here it makes it look like it's kind of just a picture of them yeah it looks like, 2d it's it awesome looks... these are actually technically the same pieces that we have in that cylinder tank up front so they're correct you can use these exact pieces to make an actual aquarium but like you said the way that you've sunk them in the wall like just perfectly mm -hmm. and with the lighting they look 2d which is a really cool effect an unexpected one at that too i also did that here this one really gives that 2d effect yeah that's awesome um but this little area over here i am obsessed with this was like all you um mm -hmm. sh let's start let's start over here okay at the stars of the ocean yes <laughs> so wow. i wanted there to be like an actual touch pool for like starfish and inverts so that's what we have in here with a little bit of reef rock just to kind of give them places to burrow and stick to um but yeah i thought this was like a really cool idea um and i wanted to make it as tight and small as possible <laughs> i love it because you did you kind of kept like that like twin palms aesthetic by like adding this tile work and yep yeah, yeah looks so good um Thank you. shout out as always to like lions um info signs which just like go oh, everywhere yeah. they're like they're <laughs> those are like everywhere. the heroes of everybody's project right yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> they really are um no but this this is perfect like you were explaining it to me and it, this is what i was picturing but i wasn't mm -hmm. i wasn't able to picture it like in here and like working but it totally does i love how bored the staff member looks too but uh <laughs> theoretically she or he or they would be um you know just telling you more about it as you're like handling these starfish which is totally fine for you to handle i mean they are pretty delicate so you don't i wouldn't say you would really want like your child handling them but like a parent could handle them and the kid could like touch it and watch mm -hmm. it moving and stuff which is really cool and then she would just yell two fingers <laughs> two fingers <laughs> two fingers and i love that there's like a little view into that that same big tank again over here you get a totally different angle over here more of the the reef stuff over here too so would we say that this would be like faux like would this yes. be fake okay yeah 100 percent because that turtle would probably eat it <laughs> right right and a lot of those fish are not um reef safe either i mean parrotfish are hit or miss typically you would want to keep them in like a predator tank but right they've been known to be opportunistic eaters if they get hungry so mm -hmm. yeah everything everything in here would be fake i yeah. would say love that okay so then we turn around over here we have more stuff that you did yeah i wanted there just to be these like one-off exhibits that like who would come and just stare at like a globe of trash you know what i mean <laughs> but if it's in an aquarium you're gonna because <laughs> you know you might also be learning something in the process something but to look at yeah one of my favorite um little concepts was this coral bleaching exhibit mm. um because that's like a serious problem that we have right now i mean Absolutely. it's one of my dreams was to go to the great barrier reef and it's just uh, it's just a a specimen of what it used to be you know what i mean yeah and it's something that we probably won't ever get back and i wish if there's an opportunity for people to do something to keep that from happening in the future um, right. Even if you learn something small here, that's great. You know, when you come to an aquarium, yeah, you get to see like all the cool fish and the the other species and animals and stuff. But you're also coming here to like learn stuff as well. So Absolutely. to me, it wouldn't be a true aquarium if we weren't also trying to teach you something in the process. But I feel like this adds like a, uh, this adds the realism that you would need in like an aquarium type setting. You got to right. have these moments where you can learn and teach correct also doesn't this look like it used to be something like it used it looks like it used to be like a tank and another it, it tank. one thousand percent did <laughs> yes okay because it was actually like, was before the first time we showed this well, i think there was an octopus or something in there oh okay right oh okay, yeah so this whole thing is kind of very different yeah um, the the bleaching and the trash wall was like they were aquariums it was like a row of aquariums and then it stopped here this corner yep it just stopped. I mean, realistically, this building is huge, and we were only using a really small piece of it before. Um, I love how he's, like, just stuck to the wall, and you can tell he's about to, like, camouflage and, like, change his colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to see any of you. This is probably my favorite thing, my favorite change on the inside. Really? 
Yeah. And it was, you told me you were going to do it, but in my mind, I'm like, it turned out so much better than it, I could have ever imagined. It was kind of a shame before because we had all of this usable space that we had just blocked off with backstage doors and right. that was just that on that. But then you came back and kind of brought the whole back half of this building to life. This is my first time actually seeing this area specifically um, mm. with the lights like this. It looks amazing. Yeah, it, it does look great with this with this lighting. These signs are amazing too. Yeah, so okay, so this is a mixture of lots of things. Um so all of, obviously all of these are lion. Um mm -hmm. this is by Just Goron. Okay. Um and then I did this one. And we this turtle I has love been that turtle. <laughs> this turtle has been through a lot. <laughs> He's been all over the park, man. These sign packs that they've been releasing have brought like so much realism to everybody's projects mm -hmm. that I'm like, this, even though like you did an amazing job, I feel like this is like kind of the cherry on top in this area too. Oh, right. It's all of these life. small little details. Right. And it adds so much like character and realism that I'm glad that people take the time to make the stuff like this because it's like the small details for me that matter. So this is a huge, you know, obviously addition. Yeah. Um, to what was what was here before. This is what I was saying when I said my jaw was like on the floor. <laughs> but when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my god!" So basically, what we wanted to do is kind of is kind of really play on the the like rescue and and rehabilitation of sea turtles. I'm surprised we hadn't gotten like a whole lot of scrutiny for this project because like there's a lot of activists that are very anti having like marine animals but you do need to understand that like sometimes they would just die like if you release them back into right. the wild so while they may not be in the wild technically they're you know we're giving them a a quality of life that they wouldn't have anywhere else so that and i'm i do i'm like you i'm i like that twin palms would kind of be taking that sea world approach to where mm -hmm. they're they're actively like having facilities like these which are making a difference to like wildlife whether they can release them or if they just give them a forever home afterward um we kind of talked about before how this wouldn't necessarily be like where they would actually be doing like these surgeries for the animals this is kind of just a, a more yeah. of an educational um room for guests to see um yes mm -hmm. like obviously this is a, a an actual turtle that has been rescued um yeah and so that's kind of why you'll see like a little bit more uh, like props in here. Um, it's something, it looks a little bit more cluttered just like to add to like the aesthetics of it. You probably wouldn't see a lot of these in like a sterile <laughs> like room. Right, right. Yeah. That specific table with like the surgical lamp and everything above it, that would be like basically where they would triage this turtle when it first came in. Like they're going to get the barnacles off of it. They're going to make sure there's no like nuisance algae or like any kind of like anything attached to the shell they're gonna right. do like a full like five point inspection on it front bottom side to side mm -hmm. um so that's kind of what that table would be for which is why you also see just like clipboards and stuff laying on it mm -hmm. um and then of course afterwards they would put it in the tank just to rehabilitate it but mm -hmm. definitely no surgery or anything going on in here this is amazing this is perfect this is exactly what we wanted i didn't think that we could get it so i'm glad that you were we like, able it. to make it work we also have like some like camera feeds here hmm. he's kind of just like hanging out in the corner Super um cool. and then a little preview of what we're gonna see later this is kind of like the outside of the um uh -huh. like an aerial view of the outside area this is kind of another um thing that guests can pay for it's like an extra experience um mm -hmm. so for free you're able to or not for free for the for the price of a ticket to twin palms <laughs> yeah. you're able to see um all of this stuff um behind the glass <laughs> behind the glass before you know before going out and seeing the rest of the stuff you're able to kind mm -hmm. of just like go in here um but then if you like pay some more money um for a little closer look, um, you get to go through here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe if your school like comes here or something like true, true. Something very, like that. Very that. Um, go through here. We have a window pointing out the window. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and it's inset. Good job. Yes. We have another little camera feed. See, he's changed his position. Love um, that. <laughs> Love that little detail. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go gonna go ahead and go through here and we Ooh. get like a little closer look. Um so we can go ahead. 
go down here. This is so cool. So cool, right? So we get to say hello to all the workers. They are probably going to tell us a bunch of things. Uh-huh. Um, I just wanted to, like, reiterate, like, that, you know, SQ rehabilitate release. I love this holding tank and, like, the details on it. What I will say is a lot of the ones that I saw, it, they had, like, a very small holding tanks. And I did see, I did see some that had larger ones. And I wanted to use, utilize the larger ones just because it would be able to function a little bit better in game. So something I like to do is kind of like utilizing like these new prop mm -hmm. pieces for something that you necessarily wouldn't, like, I don't think you would necessarily just put them like on a desk or whatever, but this yeah. is something that I saw from a lot of like backstage things. It's like, they'll just have like random like display shells or something, you know, just to kind of yeah, have hundred percent. Um, yeah. So we kind of just have some clutter everywhere made this, um, or to look at from far away. <laughs> it's like, it's like it's the perfect. letter U <laughs> and then, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, we just like clips and stuff, but, um, a lot of, a lot of this stuff too is from shift as well. Right. Yeah. Um, a lot of the smaller details, like the, uh, those boxes. cardboard boxes came from his Amazu pack. Mm -hmm. um, These books. And yeah, I think the same with like the binders and all that kind of stuff too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I kind of just built like the shelves and the cabinets and mm -hmm. um, the stools, tables. Um, it's such a unique way to, because the, those cabinets, they're not a ton of pieces. It's just mostly an art shape with the trim pieces just to kind of outline it. Mm -hmm. um, which... When I saw it, I was like, the wizardry again. But then <laughs> the I looked and I'm like, <laughs> the wizardry of it all. But then I was like, okay, it's actually like not too piece heavy, which is very useful always. You know what I mean? Right, right. I, I feel like, you know, use a lot of pieces on things that really need it. But if it's just like something like this, there's no reason to use that many pieces. Like a surgical light. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> this was a lot of pieces. I, I, I used the facility veterinarian room. Um, and I just kept, it was basically side by side. Like I would just keep looking back at it because I wanted something, you know, that looks very similar to, you know, what would be in game, um, yeah. without it looking like it's just a bunch of pieces put together. I feel like the only place you kind of can tell that is like when you look at like the different pieces, but you know, also these gutter pieces, I love them. For sure. Yeah. That looks great. Cool. And it definitely served its purpose. But what I will say is my favorite thing in here so far is this little, <laughs> this Stop little tape. <laughs> I, I just, it was something that I felt like you would totally see that like in a little mm -hmm. educational type of room. This little clownfish pair was probably just like getting like beat up and bullied in like one mm -hmm. of the other tanks. Mm -hmm. And they just moved it back here temporarily. And then it just became like a mascot for this little backstage area. Right. Yeah, and it's something that you would really only see if you get that backstage access. You know, you can't mm -hmm. really see them from from behind the glass. So, yeah. I just I think it's so cute. Also, it's like when you see like the scale of it, like this is like a worker. So like this mm -hmm. is small. Like these pieces yeah. are really small. It just goes to show like, um, you know how great they look. Also, this is an example of the pieces that are non colorable, and they mm -hmm. just look so good. Yeah, for sure. They also have like these water pieces, which are so cool because they mesh together yeah. so well. And they move. <laughs> and it moves. Like just the side. I didn't even know that the side view of it like had that water effect, which is like yeah. so cool, especially since these are all static. It yep. makes it look like they move a little bit. So yeah, it's perfect. This is like a little freezer um, where they would keep, you know, turtle food um, and maybe food for the rest of the stuff in the aquarium. Yeah, I think so too. So this is a, is a new little addition, which I love did not expect you to add this and i like absolutely love it so explain what this is this is a z incubation it's day soon <laughs> so we got some some eggs that are incubating in there um you know you got a scale there on the counter that would be you know they would be monitoring weighing the eggs and stuff making sure they're appropriate sized or i don't know what people like that do but very scientific <laughs> stuff um but that's actually a cooler that I have basically rebranded as an incubator. Um, this is very opposite that, of what it actually is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you download it from the workshop, there's like, it's really, it's honestly a great piece because it's like, it's different colors. It has cans and like all kinds of, it's like a fully stocked fridge, mm -hmm. but it's from, I think if you're looking at them on 
the workshop is Bizazzies. 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 B-I-Z-Z-A-D-I-Z-Z. But they had basically made this uh, little cooler that I converted into a little incubation chamber. It's perfect. It's yeah. perfect. Now, it's all... And I love that you have the camera views up there, too. It's great. Yes. And this gives you a little preview of what you're, oh, yeah. what you're about to see um, on the outside. <laughs> Um, so this looks great, man. I also love like it's it very much goes to show like if there's something already available in the workshop, there's no reason to build it from scratch. If it's scaled appropriately, re right. rebrand and reuse. <laughs> and a lot of this stuff is part of um, Shifty's Amazon pack too. Like I think the whiteboard, the markers, and the binders yeah, and all of it's that. Either all of that from jazz. his Amazu or from his office mm -hmm. sets. I mean, it's detailed from head to toe. I mean, you yeah. got the water that's on the floor, the grates in the floor. We did the glass roof just to bring in natural light, just to kind of break up that monotony of the the interiors that Frontier doesn't like to make look amazing because of the right. lighting in the game. So that's really the only reason that that's there. You know, even bringing in like these windows, all of that stuff is very important um, just yeah. to bring in some of that. Maybe it doesn't even bring in the best light, but it just kind of breaks it up a little bit more and it kind of lets you know like oh th this is an actual interior and there's like you know an exterior on the outside right. <laughs> also shook at that little baby turtle on the wall yes where it says the re re rescue rehabilitate and release yes that, that was is... just goren or somebody mm -hmm. else yeah, yeah so he was very kind um and he did a whole bunch of custom um sign work which you'll see um in, in the main exhibits um but I, I he also gave just like you know a lot of these like little separate ones that i wanted to use but when you're done in here you basically get spit back out into the aquarium and yeah. you are back over here so you know usually the next thing to do would be to go back out this way and you're gonna take a left to see um the the the, the main turtle exhibits which, love it already same so but you'll know from before from maybe two episodes ago this was the, the seal exhibit um mm -hmm. and it has like the iconic lighthouse which has been updated just a, a tad bit yeah in all the um, right places yeah it's literally the same structure i just you know added some some details because we actually have pieces that are small enough now. <laughs> we right. just didn't before um so yeah we we definitely made this all about the turtles and we have moved the seals somewhere else which you'll see in the future mm -hmm. um but i love that they kind of just like are coming up over here <laughs> they think they're about to get fed even though it looked amazing before for the seals um i mean this i feel like this is more what this space would be used for realistically you know what i mean right another thing that we didn't really have before was we didn't have like trainer access um like to go onto onto like this little island this this wasn't really here before it was kind of just like rock work Rocks, and then the lighthouse yeah. but what um, really makes me excited is if you back up just a little bit i see like four different types of custom fences which is insane <laughs> i love i love this one that's like right up front um, yeah. and i really love the simplicity of the one that's in the back Mm -hmm. furthest away from us for the longest time this but we were just using like the this is like a big round path piece and we just use like the metal um you know the metal railing and uh, it it looked cool but it just was it wasn't looking like how i wanted it it wasn't looking custom enough <laughs> so yeah that's that's what i was gonna say this is way more custom and you'll see this fence used a lot um it's also used you know back here um mm -hmm. and then we have you know some of those other fences that you'll see that's just, the one i love <laughs> yes you'll see it just like in sea world in general there's a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of this <laughs> i will say one thing you don't get without doing custom fencing is if you look where the actual fence right here meets that uh that support beam uh back up a little bit for the um for the shade that's above our head you don't get that without yeah doing it custom you know what i mean which mm -hmm. makes like a huge difference to me and these shades look amazing too yeah, so these are by Leader, I think his name is. Um, mm -hmm. And instead of, like, taking them and, like, building a whole big, like, fabric piece, I wanted to just kind of piece them together, which I feel like is realistic anyways because of wind and stuff. You kind of wouldn't want to have, like, these huge, right. like, scales or whatever. 
Um, but then also just for the lighting in the game, I feel like the shadows look a lot cooler with like some of those gaps. For sure. I like the look of the overhang here too on the actual building. It's almost like a wave, which is really cool. This looks like something that was added like in like the late <laughs> yeah. 90s. Um, yeah. Because the front of the building has like those very angular roofs. Um, mm -hmm. But this is something that was definitely added. And then, you know, they added this like later so this is kind of what we're talking about before it's like this is based very much in the 80s and 90s and maybe even before that and then we're keeping a lot of the that foundation and just adding new modern things onto it which is very obviously realistic like everywhere does that so well good job with this friend it looks amazing thank you so much everything is amazing it. so what's next so if we kind of go this way i wanted to add something that you know really obviously you know kind of this is like the name of of what this whole area or this whole building is um is just you know the the sea turtle rescue center um and i thought that this would be a really good wall to 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 put that on um also these are by Descoron again um he made all of these and i was like i i'm sorry i need to use them like there's no way that i can't <laughs> i can't use them so one thing that i do like is that you very much kept the exterior of this building on brand which like no matter what angle you first discover this building from you know exactly what it is whether you're looking at it from here right the back or the front which is cool you you made the exterior of this building so it all like i wanted to keep all that because it looks so good still even though this was made like you know a yeah years ago very early on in the game the release of the game so i, I like mm -hmm. that it's held up and i like that we've just been building off of it which is really cool love this little view that we get um and you know kind of i wanted to add like this pop of like red which i feel like maybe mm -hmm. was missing a little bit all right so let's go ahead and circle to this side so before love yes so before this tank or this little like touch pool down here was like starfish which wasn't the best thing to have down there because i would assume the water temperature is going to fluctuate so much in these you need something a little bit more hardier that can survive that right right so we ended up of really utilizing these the, the new props yeah the zebra shark and then just the common ray which mm -hmm. i think technically i don't i think that might even be like i know he, there was a lot of freshwater rays right um in that pack too like the black one with the white the spots on it yes i didn't do a ton of research that might be a freshwater ray but it was given the illusion of a common ray stingray right. and that's why we put them down there i feel like we kind of have a set twin palms palette and it's very this i love that curved tile ledge that looks so yes. cool yes with and you'll, the huge potted plants up there you'll kind of see this tile work um in a lot of the new uh stuff that we're going to show off in in future episodes so i kind of wanted to bring it over here as well um so this is the front of that exhibit and you'll you'll see that there's all of these um these cool yeah, that's here. the zebra shark. So this this is where the sea stars were before, or the mm -hmm. starfish. Two fingers, please. Two fingers. <laughs> I need someone to yell to yell that. Um, yeah, I I really do love how this looks. We've kind of been doing like a signage overhaul too, like throughout the whole um, park itself. So mm -hmm. you'll see those, which are those blue like metal post signs. Yeah. Um, I think those are uh, who are those? Just score lion. Just lion. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really great stuff. Yeah, this one is ricey. I love this one. Yeah, I love the colors on it. Yeah, so I guess we can go ahead and go back up here. Mm -hmm. I love this little filtration right here on the left, which would be for that holding tank, I would assume. Yes. That that we saw in the backstage area, which mm -hmm. is cool. Yes, you'll know that, that Josh likes something when I get a, a text on my phone and not on Discord about, about <laughs> something. Because <laughs> I can't wait for you to read it on discord i'm like i need you to respond right because now i don't have my notifications on for <laughs> <laughs> what's that um yeah so if we go over this way um we have this touch pool which was not here so i i don't even know if you remembered but like there used to be like a waterfall right here yeah it was like a little water feature this is so sick right here i love this so dash has this whole like graveyard of like things that he started and then he just sets aside <laughs> and he says he'll finish them but i don't <laughs> but you know so you always was... repurpose them yes so i'll like i'm like what can i like steal from so i don't have to build <laughs> so now we have like these amazing covers um we 
actually use the actual mods, um, the, the, the Stingray mods um, in yeah. here. This one, I just have to point out with the curved. <laughs> oh <laughs> the my curved. God. And I love this algae covered like rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and walk over this way. Um, okay. Take a look at all this stuff. It just, it looks the very real. Yeah, I was just going to say the layers over here are insane. <laughs> this is a hand washing station. Um, this is stolen from something that you'll see in a future episode from like a really awesome area that, that Josh has made. So um, this is very much stolen from him. Um, this is just because, you know, you're touching all of these. Also, like yeah. stingrays are gross to touch. They, they feel gross and they... Yeah, you definitely want to wash your hands after mm -hmm. that. And again, huge shout out to Shiftsy for some of these other like custom assets too, like the paper towel and soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you go up here, so I will point out there's also a ramp. If you are handicapped, you can go up there. Yes. So we have this little upper view of this tide pool area. This um, is great. This is sectioned off because I don't necessarily, I wouldn't really want the stingrays to come in here. Um, right. But there's this one... There's this one exhibit at um, SeaWorld that I love. We I don't think we looked at it when we went there, but um, it simulates like a wave pool and like, or it simulates an actual tide pool. So like every once in a while, like it'll, you know, it'll kind of go down and then come back up. That's um, so cool. So that's something that I wanted to kind of put in here as well. Um, and you'll see like, you know, all of these like little creatures in here that kind of just have made nice. It's like this whole like little ecosystem that just is yeah. very much like a tide pool. So um, you got, I see some lobster, some scallops, some mm -hmm. crab, mm -hmm. starfish, all kinds are, of stuff. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I mean, it's legit everything that you would see like in a tide pool. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I will say when we went to SeaWorld, I spent, I didn't, A, I didn't realize how many of these little like placards and boards are all over the place, but I spent mm -hmm. a surprisingly large amount of time like actually reading them. These little details are sometimes the things that I forget to add, and it brings like all the character and life to it. So I added, you know, another sign over here. Hmm. I pulled trivia. Perfect. And it's colorful. It's fun. It's going to catch the kids' attention and stuff, which I like. You got a little branchy coral on there, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, love the font. That I think you said that was Ricey's font. Ricey, yes. That's yes. great. This, again, like we talked about, like new signage and stuff. I feel like this is very much the kind of aesthetic that we've been implementing to some of the new stuff that we've been doing mm -hmm. so i wanted to add that over here as well um yeah this just totally like this is amazing <laughs> it looks real <laughs> yeah it, it looks real like it's i love being able to see the trees through the sun shades which you mm -hmm. wouldn't have been able to do if they were like one solid piece it's it's right. great so you can kind of see a view of um you know a little bit more of that turtle area you can see some of them swimming around I love that they're just everywhere. They're like using this whole area, which is cool. Whenever you see exhibits like these at SeaWorld, you do see like the base coral, which is obviously fake. And it's like right. usually painted the same color as the exhibit just to give an illusion. Mm -hmm. But then you do have these like artificial coral pieces mm -hmm. closer to the surface, which is what you see. So it's very realistically yeah uh, appealing to me i yes. guess i got this method to to kind of make like the depth for like that water gradient from um, yeah the color grade yes from uh white hello workshop. yeah he's like hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay bye <laughs> yeah, that's yeah the, why the... i remember when wyatt posted it people kind of like lost their minds that yes. day and we're like what is that <laughs> yes so i immediately had to try it um it it looked especially when you zoom out it just kind of gives that depth Mm -hmm. um yeah that's it's great um also you can kind of you can kind of see that there is a nurse a nurse shark at the bottom right there just kind of chilling out also there's your uh camera that's projecting the view inside of the turtle yes. rescue yep mm -hmm. so let's go ahead let's go down here so this bathroom was was a uh, it was left behind still so that's <laughs> good not everything has yeah. changed it's a good thing to leave behind. I love that bathroom, yes. especially now that it legitimately does not exist in SeaWorld. It makes me sad. Relic. A relic of the past. <laughs> and I just um, know that bathroom is disgusting. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like yeah. nasty, disgusting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you do not go there unless it's an absolute emergency. And also like this is just me, but I have a phobia of 
wet paper or wet paper towels or anything. And I know, I know that this is full of just wet paper towels. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. the so, the sink counter, the floor, it's everywhere. So before you'll remember that we had like that Pacific Point sign here. There was like a little mm -hmm. waterfall with seals. That has obviously all changed. Um, this looks like very new branding. Would you agree? A hundred percent. This is very 2015 and beyond yes, SeaWorld. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, 2015. You and I collectively have tried to make this turtle exhibit like five different times, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think we had the kind of like aha moment to let's just put them in like the seal exhibit. And something that I liked from a lot of the renditions that you made was that it kind of had this like kind of like lush um, closed in feeling. Um, and so I wanted to have that here. Um, yeah. And I, I know that whenever, you know, we talk about the sea turtles, you kind of talk about your, like your time when you saw them in Maui. Oh, yes. Um, and In the wild, swimming right up to me in the ocean. Right. It was an outer body experience. Um, you also saw them like in an actual like aquarium too, right? There's, it's, it's a very small like aquarium that's on the island um but they do have they have them indoors and outdoors kind of like this hmm. and i something that i remembered was like just kind of seeing they there was like some different levels there was a lot of like this overgrown like yeah <laughs> like palm trees and stuff there so that's kind of something that i wanted to add onto here um kind of give it like a very enclosed feel because you you like the main path is right here and you're kind of yeah. just like on the other side of it so also i recently discovered this tree in the game and i think i use it too <laughs> much but i love it some london something pine but it literally looks like something that you would see like outside of every mall in southern california like <laughs> it's just or even at like obviously like sea world or like a parking lot like they're just so everywhere. spam so spam it noted let's spam it everywhere <laughs> So yeah, uh, we have this elevator that we that you guys have seen before. Um, yeah, all of these like are custom made by um, Jess Goron, and he did such an awesome job. He went like over and above. Um, I, I love this, right? Yeah, because basically what I had, I, I made this thing, um, and I think I had like this before. Yeah, and this did you know? And I just sent him the file. I didn't even think that he was even gonna go off of this. Um, but he totally like he just made it like so cool. Um, that built-in adding... compass literally brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, when I saw this, like when I saw that he did this, I was like, okay, wow, he like actually cares <laughs> about this this like project. And I love that food or plastic where it mimics mm -hmm. like a jellyfish or yes. something like that. Yes, so good. so good. So thank you so much um, again. Yeah, seriously, for for doing that, it's it's amazing. We'll probably have you be doing more. <laughs> So yeah, uh, another thing that I added on the ground um, was Stop. these like little shards of like, <laughs> I imagine this being like sea glass. Yeah. Um, and I kind of just wanted to put that, you know, kind of. That's so good. And I don't know like, why, but I just, I assume that there's just like, kind of like a very like ripped off melody of Under the Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> under the, but like, is that what the ripped off one is called? Under the Ocean <laughs> instead of Under the Sea? <laughs> Yes, Under the Ocean, written and directed by SeaWorld. Um, but it's like playing through like some shitty like speaker that's just crackling. And it's it's, yes. it's honestly more of like it's killing your ear versus like actually making an immersive experience. <laughs> yes. But that's what I assume it sounds like down here. The way I kind of got it when I first looked at it, it's kind of taken little bits and pieces that you've seen throughout everything. And it's presenting it all like in a very grand way with this huge glass front underwater viewing which is mm -hmm. so good and and also like something that i really wanted to keep in mind was that like this is an older exhibit it's an older building that has been revamped so i needed to make sure like obviously this is something that is hard to change and update mm -hmm. so i kind of wanted to keep it older looking yeah um so you know it's very much like let's put on some new like concrete textures here and let's like repaint this it's very much just like a paint job rather than like any new thing structurally. Yeah. Um, so that's something I wanted to keep. It's the perfect mix of like, of what like SeaWorld or something like this would actually do because they're not gonna, they're not gonna throw away good assets that they're not gonna take the bones away. You know what I mean? They're gonna right. build off of them and mm -hmm. 
and if a coat of paint goes a long way, a coat of paint goes a long way. So that's kind of what I get here with like the very minimal new applications that have like made it seem a little bit more modern. Right. And here's just some other cool signs by Jess Goron. Love that he put like the endangered, like this is like that endangered scale or something. That... <sighs> get out of here. Isn't that crazy? Where's my purse? Yeah. Another thing he made over here is this like size mm. chart. I love how this came out. I also love that he added like this extinct species of, of turtle. And yeah, it even so like cool. back up like its head is up here. Yeah, I saw that. That's nice. So cool. Uh it's just absolutely something that you would see like for just like this blank wall. And it's it was so needed because it really fills in the space. I remember when you first placed these coral pieces. Um you were like, I don't know if they're like in the right spots. Uh, and then I came and looked at it because obviously, you know, certain corals. I don't know. Would these be, I'm assuming these would be fake too because these would the be turtles fake. would probably eat them. But yeah, I mean, ideally they would still need to be placed in appropriate right. spots. And I was like shockingly surprised. I'm like, okay, A plus. Okay. <laughs> you got you got all your stony SPS up top, all your uh, LPS corals down closer to the bottom. It's good stuff. Okay. These are the recolorable ones, so I tried to like give it like very faded colors because I feel like after yeah. some time these would just become a little faded. It's giving bleaching. Yeah, yes, <laughs> like actual bleaching from the sun because these are fake. All of the rock work back here is teal mm -hmm. um, because I wanted it to really contrast against this, like you know these these gray rocks and just really showcase yeah. the turtles rather because the turtles are also this this color as well it kind of also gives it a strange feeling of depth too which is really yes. cool it almost looks like open ocean over here yeah it had to be very much redone because uh, what we had for the seals was it was very open over here mm -hmm. and it was just really to watch the seals like do all of these you know tricks and stuff so i kind of you know brought this little shelf in here and then and then they do have a deeper area behind here to kind of just swim around but i wanted it to kind of frame that area especially like if you step back it just it looks really really almost like picturesque like something yeah, that you would for sure it's like a little window into their little shallow part of the ocean yeah i love it man you did an amazing job thank you yeah i really love how this area came out too and also just adding you know the aesthetic of some of some of these very nostalgic looking it just this kind of looks a little older <laughs> to me yeah um but definitely definitely ties in everything really well um i remember being obsessed with this that you made still am obsessed <laughs> that little bitty backstage fence i love it i love it so much i love how it shapes around the concrete planner that also doubles as a bench <laughs> we're trying to avoid this massive fence that's behind us but it's because <laughs> honestly like we have we've changed so much but you guys are going to be excited for what's to come because the stuff that we were kind of heading in the direction while it was great like this is like some next level stuff i mean i'm i honestly think that it was our visit to SeaWorld that really helped with just yeah. like seeing it Agreed. in person one thing that i really really love that i've been using a lot of and i see you are too is the uh what tree is that that we're using as the hedge yeah that's it the fig tree mm -hmm. so it gives like the a really good um like depiction of like a hedge mm -hmm. that's like mildly trimmed yes <laughs> not it's shaped like, trimmed <laughs> yes should we check out like some of the backstage stuff yeah let's go ahead so something that wasn't here before uh with the seals is this this used to be like a big plaster wall and we knocked mm -hmm. it out we just added that the new fencing mm -hmm. um this overhang is new. I, I needed to get rid of the glare um, that was coming in. Also, what is great is I feel like with turtles, you would need to get slightly over the water a little bit to like deal yeah. with them. Um, so it just, it works. This is cool because all of these can, can go up and down and you'll see that there's one right here that's down. So even this can be closed off as well. Over here really does it for me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it's the it's the bolts on the wall for me. Yes, yeah, and that um, water hose. This is like as generic as it gets, and I love it. It's it's so good, and I love, I love that you like kind of put these little holders. This would be something where like you would just slip them in there, right? Is that what yeah, that is? it looks great. I mean that yeah, that conservation fact really came through like with all of mm -hmm. these little very much needed details. Like the fact that we didn't have buckets before is crazy. Yeah, it's to me. crazy. Yeah, so over here, like, you'll, you know, you can really see, like, how these little different apartments work. 
obviously they're just able to swim through them but in reality this would be like a little holding holding facility for them before you'll you'll remember that we kind of had like two two like points of entry for this exhibit so this is basically like the other side um of that exhibit um you know so that's why we reintroduced the sign here just in case you do come from this side yeah because technically if you're coming from the dolphins like if when you first cross over the flamingos if you were to just keep going straight mm -hmm. and you go to the dolphins first mm -hmm. um you would eventually come up on this and then you could still enter the aquarium through this coming from this direction too so mm -hmm. i do like that you carried the signage around not assuming that everybody came from the other side I do love that you can see like this viewing area. I did add like a little bit more of like a base here, um, just oh, to nice. kind of give it like a little more realism. I think we showed everything. I mean, I guess we could talk about what's to come, which is the seals. Um, we're also going to do some California sea lions too, um, but that's actually based off of another exhibit <clears throat> at a different zoo that's not technically SeaWorld based, mm -hmm. but it's once you see it, you'll we're going to make it SeaWorld, so it's going to look awesome. Here's a little peek. <laughs> yeah. We're getting this, there. This building here uh -huh. like made me audibly gasp when I saw it. <laughs> it took just... me a while to get the colors right on it. And I think I sent you probably a dozen <laughs> color like variations. Five different options. And I'm like screaming at you in the chat. I'm like, pick one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Good. Yeah, I'm not exactly happy with it currently. It looks great, but it's, it's going to look good once we actually get it there and show it off it's, yeah it's very very bare bones yeah and this will also be our first stadium steeding style exhibit mm -hmm. which i'm kind of excited for this will help us get us uh ready for <laughs> the big stadium that's going to happen oh god yeah the orcas also i wasn't going to talk about our trip to san diego but um you got to feed snowballs to orcas which was yes life-changing uh, life-altering it, it really was <laughs> life-altering um it was orcas are my favorite animal so and i feel like Period. watching like watching <laughs> back on video yeah watching back on videos i just looked like i'm very i was just taking it all in i looked like you, i wasn't you didn't you didn't say two words i didn't uh, and i'm like I, i'm like oh my god i freaked him out too much like it's too much no. But then you were just like literally just taking it all in. I was. The only thing I said, I literally told one of them, I said, I love you. And that's the only thing you that did. like. You <laughs> yes, did. I, did. I have a video of, of it. Also, just the fact that like, like I was able to experience like that with you guys was really cool. And, and that's yeah. just like, yeah, it's a, a awesome memory. Honestly, my my partner came through clutch on that. I didn't even. It did not yeah. even cross my mind that oh we freaking know the person doing the show. And yeah. he's like hey can we come see the the orcas and they're like yeah sure and we're like wait yeah. what we can do that <laughs> and he was so nonchalant about oh let me just ask her <laughs> it's like, right. yeah and it's and it's like the whole time me and you were like tugging on each other's shirts and like punching each other and i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god did you see that look at this man yeah they really are black and white oh my god <laughs> so all of this stuff again i mean i don't know how many times i can say it and then how many ways I can say it, it looks amazing. Um, a, a bulk of what you're seeing on your screen, uh, you've done Remnant over the past couple of months. And it's really what inspired me to kind of get back into the game too. So I thank you for that. Yes. Oh my gosh, of course. I think, uh, yeah, it was it, it very much a collaborative effort. And I think there's going to be times where, you know, you do more things and I do more things. So um, I'm glad, you know, that it was able to kind of... Uh, you know, re-inspire you to, to get back in. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for, for joining us for episode five, finally, of <laughs> Twin Palms. Yeah. Um, please, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Josh. Um, all of his stuff will be in the subscription uh, or in the um, description box. All right, guys. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. You know what I love specifically? Hmm. Hearing you scream, oh, Manta. <laughs> yeah, and also hearing me like not scream on um that one, electric eel because I I couldn't oh yeah I couldn't utter a scream. You only wrote it once, didn't you? I wrote it once, and then and then you guys wrote on it again, and I was <laughs> regretting it because I was like, how much fun? That was my first time on a skyrocket too, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it it was like a lot more forceful than I thought it was gonna be. It was very forceful. It was aggressive. <laughs> I'm like, sir. <laughs> but do it again. I was in a chokehold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.